If the trigger on a garden sprayer fails, I'll show you how to fix it. I'll show you the problem. When you pump it up, it'll just start spraying. You don't have to be pressing anything, the liquid just comes right out. We'll release the pressure. The only lubricant that'll work long term is silicone grease. If you use any lubricant with oil in it, it's going to make it worse. This bottom section contains a spring inside. Pull the cap off, there's a spring. In the bottom of the cap, there's an O-ring. We'll clean up the O-ring as well. Here's the spring. With a screwdriver, we need to pry off the handle. Put the screwdriver underneath and lift until the handle is removed. The pin on the top, you can feel when you push it, it is absolutely without any lubrication. When we turn it over and you push, you can feel how stiff it is. We need this to move very smooth. We'll go ahead and push out the entire pin. Here's the pin. You can see all the dirt and grime on it. Spray it down with rubbing alcohol. With everything all cleaned up, you can take a look at the O-rings. These are not leaking, but you can see how smashed down they are. We'll clean the inside of the mechanism. Twist up a rag or get a brush and clean the inside. You can see it's really clean in there. Put a little silicone grease on the O-ring. Place it in the bottom of the sealing cap. Make sure it's well seated. Place lubrication on the seals. Distribute the lubrication. Slide it back in with the handle up. This pin can go in either side, either this way or this way as long as this handle is up. Sometimes to get it really clean you may need a brush. In this case there's buildup under the o-ring which is expanding out the o-ring too much so i need to get that cleaned out that's a lot cleaner in there now now that i've got it cleaned up the o-ring is not going to return to the correct shape this o-ring is so brittle it just snapped so i'm going to replace both of them we'll locate the right size and slip them on those fit in there real nice i pushed too hard and snapped it so we're gonna have to put a steel pin in we'll heat up a piece of coat hanger put it in this side and then put it on the other side We've got the one side on. We'll cut this off and put it on the other side. We'll heat the wire up and push it together. We'll apply some epoxy glue and slide everything together. Make sure it's perfectly straight before the glue dries. The paper clip was a little thin, so I'm going to get a bigger hole in there and put a coat hanger in instead. I can already feel that is going to be a lot stronger. Obviously, it's usually not this complicated, but life happens. Let's drill. We'll clean it up with a jeweler's file. Slip the O-rings into place, slide them into the grooves that we just cleaned up. Add a little silicone grease. Now everything fits in there really nice and snug and moves. We'll place the handle back in, place the pin back through, add in the spring, compress the spring with the cap. Check the trigger and make sure it works and it feels nice. Fill everything with pressure. Usually you don't have to rebuild it, you just clean it and put it back in, but it's nice to have it working again.